the week. Let's do this. Dad, I wanted to give you a heads up. Mom's birthday is tomorrow. Brace yourself. I put some thought into it. It's a state-of-the-art food mash em upper Your mom's going to feel so good because today I'm getting it autographed. Jellies made of fruits I've never heard of. These will go great with beetle nut butter. Well, I don't believe the Simpsons will be shopping at the Quickie Mart anymore. Oh, really? You keep your ice cream right beside the motor oil. You sell cigarettes to kids. Now see here. I have always considered you cash-given cows to be my friends. And friends do not betray friends. <laughs> So, how do you like working at Swapper Jack's? Hey, after biting off a man's nose in a prison race war, selling pre-cooked pad thai to soccer moms is pretty darn sweet. This is a stick them up! Shh, 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 shh. Just give me the peas. No. You've got a family, dude. No. Or were you lying when you begged for your life? Oh, oh sweet Vishnu, the destroyer. What have I done? Where's this 2006 Beaujolais that's putting me out of business? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a white wine and, and a Swiss cheese and a, a peanut butter and a potato chip and toilet paper. <laughs> what? Would you sign this for my wife, Marge? She's a big fan and her birthday is tomorrow. How would you like it if I called your wife live from my show tomorrow to wish her a happy birthday? You would do that? Open mine, quick, before it suffocates! A bunny? Just like the one I had when I was a girl. How did you know? I saw this picture at Grandma's house. Then I hit the pet stores till I found one that looked just like it. Oh, <laughs> wait one second, Marge. Before you open it, you're gonna get a phone call that will make this your most awesome birthday ever. Now in three, two, one. I repeat, one. One. This yoke separating camera hog was supposed to call you and say happy birthday. I'm gonna call that Paula Paul and give her a piece of my mind. Huh? The phone's dead. Normal, 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 normal. No Uncharacteristic! You let this monster into our home where he chewed through our one and only phone cord. Wait, maybe Paula Paul left a message. Marge. This is just plain disrespectful. I bumped a segment to do this, and you're making me look like an ass. <laughs> Screw you, Marge Simpson. Don't read my books, and don't make my recipes. Marge, go to hell, Marge! I think that's enough birthday fun. <laughs> Why, you little... I'm gonna get... Get in that rabbit cage! No way, man. I'm a free-range kid. No back talk. In the cage. Now! I've been thinking. I really shouldn't have put you in there and left you there while we were having pizza without you. So, I'm gonna let you out with my apologies. I don't want to come out. But you do... Or poke a broom in there. You know I'm capable of it. You... Uh, <laughs> hey. you... Yeah. Fine. Just leave me alone. Just want to stay. Just leave me alone. Stupid kid. There. Finished. Awesome revenge. Cutting your dad's face out of a piece of cardboard. No, you dweeb. It's a stencil. I'm going to take Homer's ugly face and spread it all over town. <laughs> Hey, you punks! What are you doing? <laughs> Drive into work. What the? Huh? It's all over the place. Holy moly! Quiet night. Nothing but the sound of a spray can and kids laughing. <laughs> 
Chief, any leads on this Vandal Van Gogh? I don't traffic in wordplay, Kent. But I do have a message for Mr. Prank Lloyd Wright. Oh, uh, that's architecture, not painting, Chief. Heard about this thing, boy? No, no, I'm too concerned with unemployment. Hmm, sounds like a lie, but what could he be covering up? Homie, have you seen our stencil budget for this month? Not now, Marge. Unless you prove that this wasn't just a one-time spree and take your controversial art form to the next level, I am not impressed. Hmm. Apo, it is a miracle. Swapper Jacks is closing. No, do not give me false hope. Like the time they said it was only sex tuplets. Theirs is that what they sell as chicken is actually monkey. So, we have one. Finally, I am lucky at something. You were lucky at love. Yeah, sure, baby. Yo, mysterious pranksters, it's time for dinner. Damn it, she knows. Okay, how do we buy your silence? Just throw in a couple of furries murders. really grown as an artist. Thanks, Millhouse. We make a great team. Hold it right there. The drug in the glasses did everything. Whoa! So, you're the two punks who've been tagging the town. Congratulations. Huh? We're street artists. Take that, Ronald Reagan. Even in death, you're not safe for me. Who are you guys? Kenny Shaw, Robbie Canal. I'm Shepard Ferry. Man, you're the talkiest bullies I ever met. We're not bullies. We're artists, and so are you. Urban vandalism is now the hottest art form there is. Bart, we would love to set up a gallery show for your street art. At the opening, I could wear a sports jacket with a t-shirt and jeans. First, I'm not sure you have the shoulders for it. And second, maybe we've pushed this far enough. <laughs> <gasps> Count me in. Hey, Bart, check this out. Oh, we've hit the big time. Hi, Carumba. Not so loud. If my dad hears about the show, he might realize Mr. Fatso is him. What the? Excellent installation, dude. And a great excuse for me to bust out my courtroom jacket. Thanks, guys. I, um, oh, this collar's feeling pretty. Are you little? <laughs> Pay for your genius! Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, what's the use? Uh, when a man isn't a hero to his son, he's nothing. Looks like Dad's not coming. He won't leave the car. I can see how the show might not be to his liking. Come on, Dad. Ruined my car. Correction, it's worth ten times as much. Five hundred dollars? Woohoo! Thanks, boy. Art lovers and Bart lovers. First of all, I'd like to thank the good folks at Springfield Arts Daily for setting this up. Thank you for bringing us a fresh new voice. Hold it right there, Spray Candy Warhol. <laughs> Bart Simpson, you're under arrest for tagging the town. I must know, who tipped you off? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but uh, it was our undercover officer, Shepard Ferry. You're an undercover cop? Well, if I can just get my three million dollars back. No refunds. But he just said the show was a sham. Oh, it is. And I'm just a guy sitting at a table. The only thing that's real is a sign that says no refunds. Wait, wait, wait! He's just a boy. Do you have to put him in jail? Well, we've got to teach him a lesson somehow. Hmm. Here you go. Thanks for coming out. I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, knock yourself out, 